Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Assassin's Creed Odyssey Let's Play. Uh, so we're still in the morning field uh, where we just picked up our location quest and we're supposed to head it over there to help Basidas out because he's in the cradle of the underworld um, helping out the woman who hanged herself find her loved one. It's a bit confusing, don't know exactly what's going on. But the location quest we got mentioned going west uh, from where we found it to look for a shallow pond uh, for the location to interact with. It's kind of on the way, so we're gonna try to look for it. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult to find. We're looking for a big tree in a shallow pond. So, hmm, shallow pond. That's a shallow pond, technically, but I don't see any big trees. Maybe it's that one, actually. Alright, let's go there first, then. It's not exactly on the way, but close enough. Um, just gonna go slow here in case this pond here first is the actual mission, or the location increase. Uh, we'll kill some dogs for leather. Is there any more? No. Oh no, there is a couple more. Well, actually, there's four. There might be even one more up there, but we ran a... Ooh. That's a lot of dogs. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Gotta make sure we don't die first. Not the first time we've done died to puppies. Or any sort of animals for that matter. Alright, so we kill that. Yeah, there is no tree in this pond, so I don't think this is it. It did say a big tree. That tree just looks too big to not have a mission revolved around it. Not the prettiest of ponds. Ah, it must be this little pond. Now where do we interact with this tree? Hmm. Am I wrong? Let's read it real quick. You can keep from his curse by finding a shallow pond west from where you find me. The tree at its center keeps me safe and shaded. Hold on. At the center? We might be at the wrong place then. We left here west. Hmm. Like, technically, this tree isn't at the center of any pond. But as we headed west from that forest, we didn't really see any trees inside a pond. Right? There was no trees inside this pond that offered shade. Hmm. All right. I'm just going to try to climb this tree real quick to see if I can interact with it anyhow. If not, then uh, it's fine. Guess not. Yeah. There isn't anything we can really do here. can't really climb it so it's definitely not here uh, we're gonna give up on that idea and let's just go help us see this is out uh, have to go through this poisonous swamp though with snakes no doubt
Yeah, when they said pond, I don't think they meant toxic swamps, but... This is the first area that kind of came to mind. Icarus, get that. There we go. Yeah, there's so many more snakes here. I guess we don't have to kill them. Maybe this is a shortcut where we don't have to deal with snakes. Uh oh. That was scary. Alright, we're at the right place. Let's see, it's gonna be like two... There's a veil. Wow. Nothing's coming up on the scanners. Two this rifts, three treasures. Okay, that's nothing. dead body. Maybe we go through the roof now or do we explore the area where we don't need to go through the roof first? I see Pathetis right in front. He's stuck. There you are. What's wrong? What is this place? The cradle of the underworld. Little ones who die too soon are kept here. The dead cannot enter. The dead can't enter, eh? Well, let's see about the living. Oh, uh, her love is her kid, maybe? Alright, we're in. Doesn't look very promising. Ethu soldier. <laughs> hmm. I think you can go through the window here. I think a soldier just climbed down. Yep. So far, no chests.
Oh no, crying babies. Where is that crying coming from? Wouldn't be surprised to run into that cultist lady, Chrysis, who keeps all the kids from the bloodline. Would be fitting to find her here. Still no chess. There might not be a chess in this area because this is like a mission exclusive area and it shouldn't be part of the location. But I could be wrong. It's a graveyard. Okay, what now? Baby's urn. Her love was her child. Okay, so we got what we came for. We have to go back the same way? That doesn't sound very fun. those spawn here There's another one Ready to leave this creepy place. We have to escort him out first before we do the rifts and stuff. That's oh, a shame. Well, I guess we could go through the veil ourselves. He actually can't follow us. Just like all time. What if we go through the rift now? Can he follow us? Good, he can't follow us. Wait, 
Wait, something's fighting something over there. They're fighting dogs? Oh, it has nothing to do with us. This way we can finish up this area and never come back. Also looking for three treasures here. Hmm. There's one chest. Okay, can't really deal with crying babies. Uh, feels like we're put into a horror movie. Gotta be two more chests. And also one more rift. Where do we go next? After we jump down. Seems like a dead end everywhere. Right, we squeeze through that rock right there. And this is the only zone I see. Unless there was only supposed to be one chest and one veil here and there should be more outside. And we just never got to do it because we did the mission area. Alright, you know what? I think we'll have to come back here another time. I think there's only one area that's hidden behind the veil. And the rest are actually part of the actual cave. I don't think we're missing anything here either. Alright, I'm bringing him back. So... Like, this is where we met him, but to the left of this is the area we didn't actually explore. Well, we do have one chest here. But that's not all the solutions here. We can go in any time we want. Oh wow. There's a sunken zone. Did he follow us? Oh wow, he did. Number two. Oh, 
I see the third person. Alright, now all we do gotta do is find the last chest. <laughs> nice and easy right here. Alright, and we're never coming back to this creepy place again. I think Brasidas can only jump into the water with you, but can't dive in. So, all we gotta do is go back to him, and he will jump out of the water. Yep, come back, come back up. I think he'll follow us, it's fine. right behind us Now the way should be clo cleared. And what did you find? Ashes. Her love was her baby. Why would Hades have you return the ashes of a woman's child? I don't know. My guess is he's the dad and he abandoned the woman and she suicided after losing the kid and that's his dishonor. Actually, can we not go through this swamp? Is there any way we can fast travel back? Not really. Maybe we can maybe we can race through the swamp. Ella. No, 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 no. How do we do this? Maybe we go av avoid the swamp for the most part here. Oh. There we go. Just ran right out. Oh, oh those are dead. I killed those. What did you do to him? The past was too much for him to bear. Brasidas, talk to me. I... Please, I know you've suffered, still suffer. Tell me what happened and we'll leave you alone. We were a quiet village before the Spartans came. My husband was no warrior. He looked Athenian. Our land was occupied by Athens. Our men were friends, supplied with armor and weapons in case of invasion. We never thought that they would come. When the battle was over, Spartans flooded the village, drunk on victory and blood. They torched our homes. Your husband attacked me in the street. 
He was protecting his people, his family. But Brasitas butchered my husband. And when I tried to protect him, he tossed me aside. <laughs> my love didn't survive the fall. I didn't know. And so we named him Vrasidas the Butcher. He massacred my people and took everything from me. I, I found my husband's sword and ended the pain. Is this true? I don't know what happened. War is chaos. If you want to point fingers, point them at Ares. The god of war didn't run his sword through my husband. Didn't throw me and my child to the ground. Rasidas the Butcher did. Come, Rasidas. There is nothing more to be done here. Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Keep your oaths, and Elysium is yours. I made an oath to protect the innocent, and I broke it. Still feel you deserve to walk the fields of paradise, butcher? Don't call him that. Why not? That woman's entire village does. What's left of it, anyways? You Spartans really know how to torch a village. You never answered my question. Say the word, and Elysium is yours. Help me, Cassandra. I, I don't know what to do. Brasidas, you were a friend like no other. You lived and died with honor to the gods and to Sparta. And you kept all your oaths to me. If anyone deserves to walk the fields of Elysium, it's you. I lived by a code of honor. And now in death, I've done what you've asked. I will go to Elysium. Ah, yes. Your father's code. What was it? Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I did everything in my power to prove you failed to live up to that code, but I suppose someone helped to convince you otherwise. Your decision's been made. The fields of Elysium are yours. But know this, I never make a mistake. You'll be the only one in Elysium who doesn't belong there. The moment these ashes leave your hands is the moment you'll find yourself in Tartaros forever. Now say goodbye. I suppose not all Spartans are as predictable as you thought. Goodbye, Brasidas. Alright, not such a great end for our friend there. Uh, and once again, we're the betting tool of the gods. And... We did look clear location this map um, on this the, the cradle of the underworld. Never going back there again, by the way. Um, going forward, we're done with this quest line. The only remaining quest lines are 
uh, Alpinors, as well as Charons. I think we'll do this next. We might just storm this fort and end this zone because there's only a few things left. Um, or, I don't know. I don't expect the quest to take us here. That's the thing. There's a few other locations out west. But yeah, I think we're saving that for the end because I feel like this is uh, most story related. The king also awaits us. Yeah, I think we're probably going to start out over here and then transition into this mission uh, in our next episode. We'll start out by taking out Achilles and finishing off the fort as well as whatever's over here. And then go back to the story quest over uh, in the Scorched Land. So see you guys next time. Bye.